Hello friends, this is Python chapter 5. In this video, we will learn how to format string in Python, operators in Python, lists in Python, how Python. So let's start. So first topic is how to format string in Python. So as we learned in the Python variables chapter, we cannot combine strings and numbers like this. Here's an example uh, that is age is equal to 36. Let me zoom. So age is equal to 36 and age means age is a variable and now txt is a variable next variable and in this txt variable there is written my name is john i am plus age so what i want in the output i want to be displayed my name is john i am and i want to plus the age variable that is 36 so i want the output my name is john i am 36 uh, so i have uh, print this txt but in the output there is uh, not the output i wanted but there is an error and the type of error is can only concatenate string not integer to string so here is the txt here is the line in which there is problem so here it is displayed so there is one thing by which we can solve this error so what there is one method that is format method uh, so format method takes the past arguments formats them and places them in the string where the placeholders are so uh, what does format method do uh, here in this format method there is one string or uh, means uh, there is one placeholder this placeholder here these brackets are placeholder and now this format method will add uh, any variables value to this by uh, when so let me tell you uh, clearly here i have uh, printed these two variables these are same or the only difference between uh, this one and this one is here is plus age but here is placeholders so now let me tell uh, you how it will work so i will print one uh, variable that is txt but i want to format it so i will say dot format and then i want to add something to this placeholders so for adding any variable in this placeholders we can uh, what we can do we can add here bracket and we can put the name of the variable which we want it to be printed here not the variable name means its value and now uh, uh, so when we say print txt dot format inside the bracket there will be age then the output will be this my name is john and i am 36 so let me uh, do this in the idle app here it is so you can see i have typed the coding here let me delete all this i will type again so here is the variable age i will type here the age we want say like 11 then the another variable that is txt uh, txt so now in this variable there is string so there is need of double quotation and now in string i will put my name is i will put the same name uh, uh, there was in the presentation so it was john my name is john i am and then placeholders in this placeholders the value will be there which we want to uh, add with this txt variable so what we will do i want to print i want to print what txt variable i want to print but i want to print one more variable with this txt variable so what i will do i will add the placeholder where i want to uh, add the uh, value of the other variable so i have uh, typed here the placeholder means the brackets brackets are the placeholder here so now i want to uh, format this txt like this but with uh, means what, which variable I want to uh, 
add here in this placeholder so uh, for telling that we have to uh, insert here one more bracket we have to type here one more bracket and inside that bracket we have to type the name of the variable which we want to display in the placeholder so i want to display age in the placeholder and now we will save it we will go to run run module and ah uh, here is the output my name is john and i am 11 so if you want to type uh, some text after this placeholder then you can do this also this not there will be no error so i can uh, say here i am placeholder years old so now in the next tutorial we will learn how we can uh, insert a user input in our python file so means uh, the user who is uh, who is uh, visiting the output of this uh, file he will be he or she will be able to put any uh, means he or she will be able to type and uh, this file will be able to receive it so what uh, uh, in the next tutorial we will learn that so what we can do we can change the, uh, here we can put here input function means in which user can input here and the user will input the age and then the age will be here in this placeholder and in the output here there will be my name is john and i am the age which user has in, uh, put it in the text box and then years old you can also do the same with the name oh, no i think i will not save uh, means close this file and now our ppt now there are operators in python python divides the operators in the following groups which are arithmetic operators, assignment operators, comparison operators, logical operators, identity operators, membership operators, and bitwise operators. So the first one is arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators are used with num numeric values to perform common mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, exponentiation, uh, flow division. Now the next one is comparison operator. Their uh, operator name equal, not equal, greater than, uh, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. So these are the operators and here are the operator signs. And uh, let me tell the use of this comparison operators. They are used to compare two values like equal, uh, here are the examples also. If you want you can note them. Uh, them. And now assignment operators so assign here are the operators and here are the examples and these are same as this so you can post a video and see all this because these are uh, there are so many and i can't read all of them because it will take too much of time so now the next operator is logical operators so the operator is and and the description is returns true if both statements are true and the example is here then operator is or description is returns true if one of the statement is true then operator is not description is reverse the result false means reverse the result returns false if the result is true then identity operators operator is description returns true if both variables are the same object and then the operator is, is not a description is returns true if both variables are not same so if uh, you uh, say this line x is not y then if it is true it will return true and if we say x is y then if it is true it will return true so you can say is if and is not this uh, nothing to remember it if you say is or is not you can simply understand that what this uh, operator is saying so now there is membership operator membership operators are used to test if a sequence is presented in an object so n 
is the first operator returns true if a sequence with the specified value is present in the object then not in returns true if uh, if a sequence with the specified value is not present in the object like uh, for in operator there is the example x and y and for not in operator there is the example x not and y so this is the membership operator and now the last one that is bitwise operator here the operator name is and or sort not zero fills left shift signed right shift so let me tell the description about all these and sets each bit to one if both bits are one or sets each bit to one if one of the two bits is one zor sets each bit to one if only one of the two bits is one not inverts all the bits then zero fill left shift shift left by pushing zeros in from the right and let the leftmost bits fall off then signed right shift shift right by pushing copies of the leftmost bit in from the left and let the rightmost bits fall off then this lists in python list list uh, lists are used to store multiple items in a single variable lists are one of the four built-in data types in python used to store collections of data the other three are tuple set and dictionary all with different qualities and usage lists are created using square brackets so here is one list coding and here is the output of it so i will uh, do this coding in the idle lab here okay so for typing this list we have to put the name of the list like this then is equal to then we have to put here square bracket so if it there is square bracket then uh, we can know that this is a list so now the first well you can be apple and then remember if it is string then there is need of double quotation like in variable and if it's if it is a number then there is no need of string like in a variable so it is almost same as a variable and now uh, after every value after every you have to now type like this apple comma mango comma orange not like this you have to create double quotation for every single value so like this value is done after the double quotation i will type it comma then another double quotation here will be orange then comma then another double quotation and here can be banana and now it uh, you have to print this list like we do with variables so print and the name of the list so we have to do only this much coding to create a list and display it so here it is apple orange and banana so like this you can create a list and now let me delete this or what we can do we can copy this for the uh, uh, because there are further topics with, uh, related to list and we have to create list for them so i just copy this and now list items list items are ordered changeable and allow duplicate values list items are indexed the first item has index 0 the second item has index 1 etc so let me tell you this here let me go to this mode slide show and set is to this so here is the topic list items so now what this uh, what is the meaning of this index here index 0 for the first item index 1 for the first, uh, first item or sorry it is for the second item so why 0 is for the first item and 1 uh, for the second item so let me tell you so here it is here this apple is at the first place so we will say it it is at the zero place so in this python it starts with the 
zero, not with the one. So zero, this is the second one. Means uh, this is the second word, uh, but with the place one. And this is the third with the place two. This is the fourth with the place three. This is the uh, fifth with the place four. So like this here is the end. Wait, doesn't means. Uh, we doesn't say it uh, that this is a place we say it that this is a index so we have no to say this okay so let's all this ink. so now order when we say that list are ordered it means that the items have a defined order and that order will not change okay so if you add new items to a list the new items will be placed at the end of the list so here's thing that order will not change and if you add new items to the list, uh, list it will be at the end and now note there is a note that there are some list methods that will change the order but in general the order of the list items will not change so there are uh, some methods uh, there is one short method in which like uh, so with this method it will uh, the list items will get short not changeable the list is changeable meaning that we can change add remove items in the list after it has been created so the, uh, there are some methods for this too and now there is a lot of duplicates in list there uh, duplicates are allowed like since list are indexed list ha can have items with the same value like this is at zero index one index two so you can see there are two apple and two cherry but there is no problem with it with it because there are index index can specify this is the at 4 this is at 3 this is at 0 so this uh, index can so because of index, we, uh, this list allows duplicates. Like here, you can see in the output, there is no error. There are two apple, two cherry. So, so please like, share, and subscribe my channel. And thanks for watching my video. I will provide the coding of today's all uh, things we have learned in the description. Thank you.